Sorry so late. I don't know why. It's, you know, it's been one of those shit storms. That's why, and that's okay. You'll get over it. But for now, you've aggregated data points to Palm Swipes After, a severed penis pump of the latest episode of Mom Swipes Left, a podcast with two middle-aged women who can't help their numbness. This is episode 76, or as Jen would say, 76, about MSL episode 214. I'm your host, Palm de Terre. Enjoy. First, Jen romances this a bit, touting once again her talent for sniffing out the truth. In this case, what Carol had for lunch to cause those farts last week. I'll have to do an experiment to see if Sloppy Joes always give her the toots. Jen Shitless was all about that goddamn balloon, where she revealed that she's actually a Bond villain. Wondering why wouldn't the Chinese put something toxic in the balloon, like dead cholera babies? See, now you're wishing you'd said dead cholera babies. And Jen and Carol are planning their Halloween costume for 2025, probably as the balloon and missile that blew it up, as if anybody's going to remember. But you know what? You know who'll get the joke and, and appreciate it? Our alien overlords. It went right into notable news. It felt like it happened very quickly. Great story about the severed penis of Mobile, Alabama. I appreciated all the theories about how it got there. I have this image also of an apocalyptic rainstorm of salamanders that, or, or perhaps naked mole rats that Jen isn't sure are either animals or dicks without balls. Really, is it that hard to tell? There was a lot of very productive conversation about how the penis got there. And I I liked Carol's idea that the black truck, truck that dropped it off had just seen it on the highway and then done a daring scoop up. I In my head, I'm picturing Nicolas Cage in Raising Arizona as he reaches out the station wagon door and just snatches the the pack of pampers. But So I would double down on Carol's theory and say that the black truck was driving by, saw the accident, there was the dead guy in the road, and as you know, when you die, all the blood in your body rushes to vital organs. So he had a raging heart on. Black, black truck sees the dick, guns it, reaches down, and just yanks that son of a bitch off. Leaving it at the gas station, because who's going to question what's on the ground at a gas station? I want to talk about Jen's dad's quirks this week and thoughtful gift giver that I am I have this recommendation to her since he enjoys surveillance equipment and is not a fan of pulling over to the side of the road at the scene of an accident get a dash cam it's all the rage among Russian mob And since he is an imposing black man, it's probably best for him to be filming any time he gets pulled over by the cops. As well, next story, don't need to do it all. But again, about the the groundhog, I agree with Jen and Carol. Why is this a thing? Why is this still a thing? Especially because there are always six more weeks of winter. It's called a calendar. 
which groundhogs don't have. So why are we even saying what their rate of success is? Time will always pass until the aliens come. Who else could predict winter, I asked myself. What are the groundhog's benefits? I don't know. Probably raped by those guys in the top hats. Lots of good questions. What's a tall narrow hole called? That was a perfect lead-in to a story about fishing for baby raccoons and Baba Yaga. And then $2,000 pyramid, or was that period? See, it wasn't pyramid, it was period, and I think it was supposed to be $20,000. Carol did quite well. Jen, we will say, did not. Though she did clarify for us that while the answer was things you would stop, such as a rapist or a climate change, her answer was lubrication, which might come in the form, apparently, of butter or salad dressing in her ass. I was thinking when I heard rape and climate change, kick it in the nuts! The answer to everything. Hot stock tips from MSL, because you know they're making some solid investments. And Jen's dill pickle cooter. Consensus among the ladies that Gwyneth Paltrow is a rich cunt. Katie Couric. Yeah, I wanted to clarify something, Jen. Katie Couric does not have colon cancer, as as Carol mentioned. Her husband, unfortunately, died of it, and that has made her an activist against colon cancer going so far as to have her colonoscopy recorded in the special news segment. And I know, Jen, you're just saying, why couldn't I have my colonoscopy filmed? Sorry, you are not Katie Couric. Get a husband who dies of colon cancer and be a world-renowned America's sweetheart, and maybe one day you too can have your colonoscopy filmed. I like the idea. Okay, I was asked to note things I laughed at. Well, I laughed at the Brown Skid Ash Wednesday cross that I guess, I can't remember who that would be performed on. Was that the rapist again? Now I don't even know. Doesn't matter. And finally, worst Valentine's ever. Nobody is Responding, so I'll just say, I'd say my worst Valentine's ever was the year my girlfriend's sister died. It's, to be sure, old Palm here was not getting slathered in sour cream that night. Boo hoo. And that is where I end if I can find the stop button. But now I feel like I have to run out the clock to nine minutes. I don't know why I... Something obsessive, apparently. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Don't count. Okay. Good enough.